Alright, I'm Ty Cohen and here we are back again with video number two. In the first video, I shared with you how when I first got started with publishing ebooks to Amazon, in the span of a few months I was able to ramp my sales up from zero to $2,873.13 a month and then grew that to the point where I am now and able to literally buy a new car every month in cash if I wanted to. Now I don't say that to impress you but to show you the power of Amazon. And along with that I gave you three examples of three everyday people who are just like you and I that are just totally crushing it publishing ebooks with Amazon. One is a young lady who is just in her 20s so she's fairly young to a gentleman who is in his 60s. So there's really no limit to who can do well with this business model. Then I also walked you through getting your Amazon Kindle publishing account started and then I gave you my three step fast track system to quickly getting your first ebook up on Amazon and on its way to making some sales. And as part of that three step fast track system I gave you three of the easiest ways to create your ebook. And finally I tipped you off to some of the things that I have tested and tweaked and found to work really well. Things such as the genres and subjects that I've made the most money from and have found to be the best sellers and content to publish and on the flip side I also told you the type of subject matter that I least like publishing and that you should steer clear of because the year-round revenue stream is simply just not there then I told you about the fishing technique which although it may have a pretty corny sounding name works very well for getting people to actually buy your ebook that's actually one of my favorite strategies because it's it's pretty simple to put in place and it works very well for all types of ebooks including both fiction and nonfiction okay so if you miss that video you may want to also go back and watch that one as well now I appreciate all the emails the likes the positive comments that have been left for the tips and information that I shared with you in the previous video and I'm back to outdo that one why well simply because you asked for it in fact some of you said video number one was some of the best Amazon Kindle publishing advice that you've ever heard and actually demanded that I give you more so before we get into the nitty-gritty of why Amazon is the absolute best easiest and most secure business model to be involved with right now I want to share something with you that I recently saw online that I think is pretty cool and makes me just feel good about publishing Amazon Kindle ebooks take a look at this okay so here we are on CNN and this is their tech section and here they have an article that's basically talking about how ebooks are now outselling print books ebooks are outselling print books uh, by a significant number here's another article on MediaBistro.com, and in this article they uh, pretty much talk about how Amazon is the most lucrative ebook sales channel here's a article on uh, telegraph.co.uk which is this is a newspaper that's pretty popular in the UK and here they mention how ebook sales are up almost 200 percent so they're up 188 percent in the first six months of this year uh, here's another article on the New York Times.com site and in this article we're talking about how ebooks are outselling print books at Amazon.com here is a, another CNN article and in this article uh, it's talking about how there's one self-published author um, out of the many that they're referring to in this article and he's being quoted as saying most of my months are six-figure months so he's doing a hundred thousand dollars or more within a 30-day period and this is by publishing his ebooks to Amazon's Kindle platform All right so um, I mean that's just huge and to have a very credible site like CNN cover this just shows you the legitimacy of publishing content to Amazon's Kindle platform and lastly here's another article and this one pretty much touches on the recent um, piece that was published by Juniper Research and in it they go into detail how ebook sales are expected to surpass the nine billion and that's billion with a B uh, dollar mark by the year 2016 so if there's a lot of time for you to get in on this uh, ebooks are a new wave and it's where you want to be 
Wow, so pretty cool stuff, right? So we don't have much time, so let's get into giving you some pretty juicy tips that you can use to start making money publishing to Amazon's Kindle. Plus, at the end of this video, I'm going to tell you how you can possibly win one of these. It's the brand new 32 gigabyte Kindle Fire LTE. What you can do with this thing is incredible. Not only can you read Kindle ebooks from it, but you can also watch movies, play games, read the newspaper, surf the internet, check out Facebook and Twitter, and so much more. So at the end of this video, I'm going to tell you how you can possibly win one. So, are you ready to take notes? Now, besides how do I get started, which I showed you how to do in the first video, remember? One of the questions that I get asked the most is, how can I sell more copies of my book? faster. Well, if that's a question that has been on your mind, or even if you have yet to upload your first ebook, but still want to know how you can come out the gate super strong when you do, I'm going to give you seven different things that you can put into place to almost immediately increase your profits in ebook sales. The cool thing about all of the upcoming tips is that I've found that once you get your book to a paid rank of 20,000 or better on Amazon, it will then self-sustain sales for several months without any further marketing on your part. So let's get right into it. Tip number one. One of the quickest ways to increase your profit in sales and keep them there is to simply increase the number and quality of reviews your title has. And one of the ways that I've been able to do this both fast and free is by A. Contacting the top reviewers on Amazon that have read and left positive reviews for other books in my niche and B asking them if they would like to receive a complimentary copy of my book or sometimes what I'll do is I'll try and locate their contact information and send them a copy beforehand and then let them know that I have done so either way it works C I then gently request that they leave me a review but there's no obligation to do so so for example, I'll usually start my communication out in this way. I see that you have read and left reviews for other ebooks in the XYZ category and kind of figured that you enjoyed reading material of this nature. I've recently published an XYZ title that I think you may enjoy and actually sent a copy to you three days ago. When you have a moment, feel free to take a look and if you are feeling extra generous, I would love to receive a review on Amazon from someone who obviously knows their stuff when it comes to XYZ material. And that's that. That's all you do and then watch the reviews come pouring in. You can do this over and over. One of the reasons why this works so well is because of what is known as the law of reciprocity. Reciprocity in social psychology refers to responding to a positive action with other positive action. For example, let's say if you were walking through a set of double doors with a stranger behind you and decided to hold the door open so that he or she could go first. There is a much greater chance that that person would want or feel obligated to return the favor by holding the next set of doors open for you. In addition to this need to want to return the nice favor that you did for them by giving them a copy of your ebook for free, in my experience most people are usually honored that you've recognized their expertise and asked them for a review. And I have never, ever received a bad review this way. It's pretty neat. Try it out. There's literally an unlimited supply of people out there that are willing to give you a review and rating for your ebook. I've used this method for both fact and fiction and across multiple genres and typically get fantastic results. You'll be surprised at how well this works and how super duper easy it is. Plus, what have you to lose? It doesn't hurt to try. Now, moving on to profit and sales boosting tip number two. Another thing that I have used over the last couple of years to boost sales of my Kindle titles has been to simply take my best-selling titles for ones that I already know that there is a market and demand for, and I'll translate them into other languages. Because if it's selling in English, there's a very high chance that it'll sell in Spanish, or French, or Portuguese. This is really... A very simple way to make more money from a single ebook title, especially since Amazon allows you to publish your ebooks in multiple languages, such as Spanish, 
Portuguese, and others. So sales boosting tip number two is to translate your ebooks into other languages using a free service like Google Translate or Bing Translator, which used to be called Babblefish. The Google Translator tool is over at translate.google.com and the Bing version can be found at www.bing.com forward slash translator. Both of these tools are free and more importantly surprisingly accurate. If you want it to, once you start making more money, you can just go in and hire a professional translator on vworker.com or google.com. Now, with a language like Spanish being the second most natively spoken language in the world, does it take a few moments to translate your ebook just make good business and common sense? Moving on, we have profit and sales boosting tip number three, which is an easy one that does incredible things for your ebook sales, and that is to take your better selling ebooks and turn them into a physical book using a service like CreateSpace, which incidentally is also owned by Amazon. So, what is cool about doing this is that if you have an ebook version of your title and then add a physical version using CreateSpace, Amazon will place both on the same sales page, and having a physical version of your ebook sitting right next to it on the Amazon site is like an incredible credibility booster. In fact, I've seen that just by having a physical version, your ebook gives off the air of being more credible, especially since you typically only see New York Times best selling types of ebooks that have a physical counterpart. And people make a mental connection between an ebook that does not have a physical counterpart and one that does as more credible. Profit and sales boosting tip number four is the more books you have for sale and the more you keep adding to your virtual shelf space, the better you'll do. With one Kindle title, you can do okay, but with 10, you can do 10 times more. Think about that. It's actually pretty easy to accomplish, especially if you follow the three ways to creating content that I shared with you in video number one. This is what my 14-year-old daughter Maya does, and she cranks them out and does none of the work herself. If you have 10 titles, you now have a lot of ways to be discovered. And once discovered, it's a lot of titles to sell to fans. Profit and sales boosting tip number five. Exploit all platforms. Kindle is still king, but remember to upload your books to CreateSpace, just as I mentioned for that physical book credibility a few moments ago, right? As well as to other platforms like Barnes & Noble, Smashwords, the Apple iBook Store, and even sites like Lulu.com. Profit and sales boosting tip number six. Practice makes perfect. I recently read a book called Outliers. It's the story of success by Malcolm Gladwell, and in it he mentions the 10,000 hour rule. In short, no one becomes an expert at something without putting time in it. Not me, not you, not your favorite guru, and definitely not anyone who may try to sell you on a get-rich-quick method to online riches. One of the biggest advantages that you'll have when it comes to being successful at this is simply sticking with it. The more you jump around from idea or course or product or method, the less you increase your chances of being successful at any of them. When I first got started with this years ago, I made up my mind to ignore every other shiny object or idea out there and focus on one thing, and that was published content to Kindle. And the results of being focused has paid off handsomely, and it can for you once you decide right now to get and stay focused. The last tip that I want to leave you with is one that allows me to make a pretty decent income in addition to what I make with Amazon and build a list of loyal fans and subscribers at the same time. And again, this is something that works well for both nonfiction as well as fiction and it's profit and sales boosting tip number seven. Developing a list of guaranteed buyers by using your Kindle ebook to create a funnel system that can potentially allow you to take a $2.99 ebook and ramp that up to hundreds of dollars or more per customer and develop a list of guaranteed buyers. If you've been online for at least a week or so, you've probably heard the saying, the money is in the list. And this is as true for publishing to Kindle as it is for other forms of internet marketing. And in some ways, even more so because the list that you'll be building will be made up of die-hard buyers who are interested in a specific topic. They've raised their hands and said so by initially buying your ebook. There's nothing better than knowing your little ebook is serving you in multiple ways, making you money on Amazon and helping you to build a list 
of buyers that you can sell and promote some of your other ebooks, products, affiliate items, evergreen webinars, and even high end coaching and other services too. And the easiest way to do this is by using an order responder service like Aweber or MailChimp and putting a link to your opt in page at the beginning and end of your ebook. You'll use these to build your list for your back end. Just don't put any links in the description of your ebook on the Amazon site. Amazon frowns upon that big time. In order to encourage people to visit the page that you're sending them to, you'll want to offer them something for free just for signing up. It could be a free chapter out of your next ebook, a free copy of another ebook, a report, or even a video. All of these, if done right, will make your potential subscriber more than willing to pony up his or her email address in exchange for the information you are offering just as you did initially to watch this video right a few things that you want to keep in mind when doing this is to be sure to give away something that is number one valuable and useful and number two fairly related and subject matter to the ebook that they purchased from you originally Imagine how powerful it is to have a list of 10,000 people and to send an email saying, my latest ebook is available now. Click here to buy. This is the basis of all of those Amazon bestseller campaigns that generally use other people's list. If you build your own, you have a much more targeted list and you are a trusted provider to those people. Remember, if people know, like, and trust you, they are more likely to buy your next ebook your next course, your next product or service or recommended affiliate product. Because it's made me so much money out of all of the many different things that I've done online, if I had to start all over again with nothing, my first priority would be to work on building a list from everything I do, especially Kindle publishing. Now, there you have it. Seven ways to increase your Kindle ebook sales. In addition to these, there are many other ways to increase your sales, or at least give you a huge advantage coming straight out the gate. And I've noticed for me personally, and for the hundreds and thousands of students that I have, the Kindle titles that sell the best for us all seem to have a professional looking cover, formatting is professional, editing is professional, they have lower prices, they have amazing product descriptions, and are well written. Publishing Kindle titles has made me a small fortune, and if I can do it, I'm sure that you can do just as well, if not better, than I can. One of the biggest things that I would like to stress is that regardless of what you hear or read about, never try and take the shortcut by publishing less than quality material, or articles, or blog posts, or PLR material, or anything else that is not 100% unique. In other words, don't put up anything less than terrific on all counts and you'll do extremely well. Now, in this video, I know I gave you a lot of interesting tips and food for thought. All of this stuff works very well. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how to put it all together in a way that makes it easy, really easy. And on top of that, it's the most comprehensive Kindle publishing training system in the world and has something for people of all skill levels from the ultra beginner who may not know A from Z and who needs everything explained in a simple basic manner which is okay to the expert who may already be rocketing their Amazon Kindle sales and is just simply looking for the strategies that are needed to take it to the next level and of course there's even something for the internet marketers, student, stay at home mom, senior and even seasoned authors and professional so stay tuned for that video and again if you want a chance to win a brand new Kindle Fire from me simply scroll down below and think about all seven of the tips that I gave you in this video and in the comment section below I want you to tell me which tip you like the best and type in a creative way as to how you are going to implement what you've just learned and the comment that receives the most number of likes will determine the winner pretty simple right everyone can do this so go ahead Leave your comment now. Let me know, number one, which tip you like the best. Number two, in the comments area, tell me how you plan on putting that tip to use. Remember, success at anything is all about taking action, right? So go ahead and enter your positive comments below. And also take a look at what some of the other viewers are posting and like some of their creative suggestions as well. Who knows? You may find additional value in your positive comments as well. So, there are three things that you should be willing to do right now. Number one, 
post your comment let me know which tip you like the best and how you will creatively use it to make money publishing to Amazon only comment once once per video number two look at some of the other comments and click like on those that you enjoy or think are clever this is your way of voting your best comment All right, voting for your best comment number three be on the lookout for my next video in which I will give you even more cool tips that you can use to really start selling an incredible amount of ebooks on Kindle until the next video stay focused and I'll see you soon